<laughs> so uh, I wonder if you can comment on something that I've I've, I've heard recently. There's, there's some people who say, <laughs> uh, people outside of physics mm -hmm. say that, you know, dark matter and dark energy is just something physicists made up. Yeah. To uh, put a label on the fact that they don't understand hmm. a very large fraction of the universe yeah. and how it operates. Is there some truth to that? What's your response to that? There is some truth to it, but but it's really missing a huge point, which is that if we did not understand the universe as incredibly precisely as we do, it's stunning that there's modern precision cosmology. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, when COBE, which is an experiment that measured the light left over from uh, the Big Bang, in the 80s, first revealed its observations. I mean, there was applause, you know, <laughs> people were <laughs> cheering, right? It was unbelievable. We had predicted and measured the light left over from the Big Bang. And because of all the precision that's happened since then, that's how we're able to confront that there's things that we don't know. And that's how we're able to confront, like, wow, this is really everything everybody has ever seen and ever will see, as far as we understand, makes up less than 5% of what's out there. Yeah. And, and so I would say, yes, we're just giving proxy names to things we don't understand. But to dismiss that as some kind of, oh, they just don't know, that it is actually quite the opposite. It is a stunning achievement to be able to stare that down and to have that um, so precise and so compelling that we're able to, to, to know Mm -hmm. that there's dark energy and dark matter. I don't think those are disputed anymore. And they were up until, you know, recently. They were still disputed. I think we're still at such early stages where we're not really even at a good explanation, right? Mm -hmm. You've mentioned a few. Well, I can think of examples of dark matter that exist that we really know for sure are real versions of dark matter, like neutrinos. Right now, they're radiating through us. That's very well confirmed. And they're technically dark. They don't interact with light, and so we can't see them. Right now, they're raining through us. If we could see the dark matter in this room and we absolutely know is coming from the sun, it would be wild. Mm -hmm. It'd be a rainstorm, you know? But they're just invisible to us. Um, mostly, they pass through our bodies. Mostly, they pass through the Earth. Occasionally, they get caught in some fancy detector experiment that somebody built specifically to catch solar neutrinos. <laughs> so dark matter is known to exist. It's just, again, there's not enough of it. It's not the right mass to be the dark matter that makes up this missing component. 